The years between 1948 and 1998 were packed with exciting changes, events, and discoveries for our world, our country, our region, and our school district. In 1948, there was no Cold War, no state of Hawaii, no polio vaccine, and no color television. A loaf of bread cost only 14 cents, and Harry Truman was president. The national minimum wage was 40 cents an hour. The Andrews sisters, Nat King Cole, and Mario Lanza had hit songs, while Haynes Hosiery introduced the first seamless nylon stockings for women. Pittsburgh was still very much a steel town, and no one in the North Hills had ever heard of a shopping mall. Since then, five fascinating decades have passed. North Allegheny has evolved into a world-class school district under the leadership of five superintendents. A total of 22,359 students have been awarded diplomas. Buildings have been built, many awards won, outstanding programs developed, and innumerable lives touched over the course of this half century. Certainly, the North Allegheny School District has become much more than what that remarkable group of men and women who came together in 1948 to initiate this educational venture could have ever imagined. In the aftermath of World War II, when science and technology were introducing new frontiers and Americans were relishing the dawn of a new period of prosperity, a small group of representatives from five districts located in the wooded hills and farmlands north of Pittsburgh met together to form a plan. Residents of Bradford Woods, Franklin, McCandless, Marshall, and Pine expressed an interest in combining their efforts and resources to improve the opportunities available to their children. Their goal was to improve the standards of education for children in grades one through eight by merging their existing schools and to construct a community high school so that students would not have to be bused to Ambridge, Aliquippa, Mars, Perry, and Westview to complete their secondary educations. They recognized that the population in their rural communities had almost tripled between the years of 1910 and 1945. It was clear that more and more Pittsburghers could afford automobiles and didn't mind commuting if it meant that their families could enjoy living in the beautiful countryside. After surveying the community to determine what kinds of educational programs would best serve residents, the North Allegheny Joint Schools commenced operations in the fall of 1948 with 35 teachers, 1,412 students, and a budget of over $262,000. Pine withdrew from the venture before plans for the new junior-senior high school were completed. Groundbreaking ceremonies were held at the site on Cumberland Road in March 1952, just a few months after General Dwight D. Eisenhower announced that he would accept a draft from the Republican Party as their nominee for president. In September 1953, some areas of the high school were ready to be occupied by teachers and students, but it was not until September 1954 that all students grades 7 through 11 could attend. That same fall, Marilyn Monroe sued for divorce from Joe DiMaggio. The U.S. outlawed racial segregation in schools, and Ernest Hemingway won the Nobel Prize for Literature. By 1958, the student population in North Allegheny had more than doubled to a total of 3,850. Franklin and Espy had been renovated. Bradford Woods, Peebles, and McKnight West had been built and plans were well underway for the opening of Ingemar Junior High School. That year, Elvis Presley joined the Army, Nikita Khrushchev became Premier of the Soviet Union, and even though civil rights was a key issue in the 50s, Martin Luther King was arrested in Alabama for loitering and fined $14. During the following two decades, the district continued to grow. A fire destroyed the original Ingemar Elementary School in 1960, but the community rallied to rebuild the school within a year. Bradford Woods and Espy were also expanded. The N.A. school jointure became a school district. Carson Intermediate High, Hozak Elementary, North Allegheny Senior High, and Newman Stadium were all built. By 1976, John Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, Richard Nixon, and Gerald Ford had all held presidential terms. The Cuban Revolution and the Vietnam War had come and gone. Men had landed on the moon. Teenagers had danced the twist and swooned over the Beatles. Simon and Garfunkel's Sound of Silence had filled coffee houses nationwide, and Bruce Springsteen had been born to run. At North Allegheny, 7,631 students were enrolled. 
The 80s and 90s brought more internal expansion and accomplishment for the district than the previous three decades. As Ronald Reagan was elected the 40th President of the United States and the pursuit of leisure in America spawned a new industry, a revolutionary focus was established worldwide on high technology. During this period, the Marshall Campus was developed and Bradford Woods was renovated. But many of the energies and efforts of the district were invested in the development of programs that would prepare students for life in the 21st century. Five buildings were honored with the National Blue Ribbon Award for Excellence, a student code of conduct, a staff development program, a curriculum review cycle, and a strategic plan were established, all as trend-setting advances in the national educational community. This impressive cycle of visionary planning, growth, and accomplishment has culminated in a school district which now serves 8,416 students in 13 buildings with a budget of $77 million. However, buildings and budgets, programs and population counts cannot alone tell the story of North Allegheny. It is today as it has always been the people here who make the real difference. Exceptional people who always put young people first and who demand quality, accountability, and integrity in every facet of the organization. They are the core, the backbone, and the breath of N.A.